Today was the final day of a week-long Veterans Day celebration at Philadelphia's National Constitution Center. Our Victoria Woodell stopped by to learn more about the sacrifice so many have made and the appreciation they continue to deserve. A veteran is someone who at one point in his or her life wrote a blank check made payable to the United States of America for an amount up to and including their life. That freedom is indeed costly. At the National Constitution Center in the observance of Veterans Day, a day of exploration was extended to all for nothing. Hello, welcome to the National Constitution Center Museum. So you could go, see, and hear about the many men and women who gave everything to fight for our freedoms. Maybe we have learned that no matter how we feel about the politics, or morality of a military action, we owe those sent to carry it out no less than our gratitude and respect. In the Grand Hall, you could go and write a thank you letter to a vet. Thank you for your service. Thank you for our freedom. You are awesome. In the exhibit, you could hear letters written by soldiers to loved ones on replay. June 8th, 1985. Dear Eddie. One of them written by West Deptford native and Vietnam veteran John Campbell. We got as close as we had to to be able to intercept the enemy's messages. Where in the auditorium, you could see this vet finally talking. I didn't particularly want to talk about it. Nobody wanted to hear about it. And you had the privilege to sit down and listen. The opening of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial started to change all that for me and thousands of other veterans. There was a time once people knew me that you never knew I was in the Army or Vietnam. And now I'm damn proud. So that's what I want people to see. Really powerful. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. we thank John for his service and so many. And John actually wrote this book. Uh, it's called They Were Ours. And it's letters that soldiers have written to and from friends and family. And I just want to read the dedication really quick. It says, this book is dedicated to the 58,220 mothers whose sons and daughters did not come home from Vietnam. And in memory of Alma Laura Campbell, whose son did. Wow. How about that? So, beautiful. Thank you to all of our great veterans. Great tribute. Great tribute indeed. Yes. Thank you, Tori. Thanks.